Hey guys, you're watching Danski, the place to be to develop your creative skills. And in this video, we're going to be doing some basic compositing all in Photoshop. So compositing is when you combine one image with another, and we're going to be doing this with a light bulb and some water. So I can't wait to get started. And without further ado, let's jump into it. <laughs> right here, so we're now in Photoshop and you can see I have an image of a light bulb on screen. And I've also opened up a separate image and I've copy and pasted this into Photoshop. We have a splash on a white background. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is set the splash blending mode to multiply. Now, what this will do is it will take lighter colors and things like white and make them invisible. So you can see immediately we've effectively blended that splash quite well into our background image, which is the light bulb. So next we can go to edit and free transform and hover over the corners to rotate this. Now I'm going to try and position this splash in a way that it could blend quite nicely with the light bulb. So almost as if water is coming out of the light bulb, if that makes sense. And so I can position this around here and I could even go to edit, transform, flip that vertically as well. So I get a little bit more of a splash along that top edge. So you can see if I zoom in, this part of the water kind of matches that curvature of the bulb a little better. So it's always about trying to find the images that work well together and then how you can adjust them so that they do work well together. So I'm just gonna position this something like this. Looks pretty cool. When you're happy, just press return or double click to set that transformation in place. Now, of course, we've got a bit of work to do. So what I'm going to do is hold down Alt on the keyboard and click the layer mask icon from the bottom of the layers panel. Now by holding Alt, what it does is create a mask and this is filled with black, so it completely hides everything on that splash layer. So if I select white, there's my foreground color, grab the brush tool, make sure I've got a soft round pressure opacity brush selected, hardness set to zero, and just pick any size you like. But remember, you can adjust the size quickly using the left and right square brackets on the keyboard. But now we have white selected. Remember that black hides from that layer in the mask, white adds back into it. So anywhere I brush will reveal what is on this layer. So I'm gonna make my brush a bit smaller and take extra special care to brush inside the bulb only. Now I know I said it was good to have a hardness of 0%, but however, I am going to bring this up a little bit just when going around this edge here because if my brush is too soft around the edge of the glass bulb, it's gonna to have too much feathering on it and it's just going to look a little bit fake. So what I'm doing here is I'm keeping all of the splash, the water, everything inside the bottom of the bulb so that it is contained. And I'm running this around here. So you can see I could even bring that hardness down a little bit more, or you could just bring the sides of your brush down and then by default, it will actually become harder the smaller the brush is. So just experiment with this and when you get a setting that you're happy with, I'm just gonna brush around that edge. Now the top edge of the light bulb, I'm actually going to have a lot more water coming out. So maybe a few splashes. Mm, that doesn't really work. So we'll undo that. Remember you've got edit, undo and step backwards should you need it. So I'm gonna bring the water over here. This is all good. I've just gotta be careful where this splashes out from. So let's focus on these bits here. This is all fine. And we've got the water in the main body of the bulb. All that splashing, that looks fantastic. Okay, so this here, this is the problem bit. This curve here. So I need that to blend a little bit more with the edge of the bulb. So we'll do something like this and then maybe just pick out a few splashes in isolation. Something like this. Here we go. And you can spend a lot longer doing this as well. Maybe just grab a little bit of that. So it just seems to blend with that edge a little bit more. 
And I can maybe just grab the edge of this splash here. And just go in and do a bit more work. So it's really a case of picking which areas you want to really bring out and pronounce a bit more, but doing it in a way that's deliberate. So you can see I'm going in now and I'm spending a lot more time just carefully bringing out select elements rather than just kind of being lazy with it and just brushing over it. And it definitely does have a much bigger impact at the end. Now we've created the, the water splash bulb effect. However, because these are two different images, you can see this one here is a lot more light blue turquoise. This is a much darker blue and we need to blend those together a bit more. So with the splash layer selected, I'm going to go to the adjustment icon at the bottom of the layers panel and select hue and saturation. Now, if I go and start messing around with the slider, you can see it affects the entire image, which works. That does actually solve the problem. However, I'm going to right click on this and select create clipping mask. And what it does is any changes I make to this hue and saturation adjustment layer will only affect the splash layer below. And you can see it marked with the arrow here and the splash layer name underlined. So now if I go back to zero, I can actually adjust the hue slider to make this a little bit more blue. So I'm bringing it towards the bluer end of the spectrum. And I can also bump up the saturation. And if I just click the eye at the bottom of the layers panel, you can preview where it was to where it is now. And I think it's fair to say that both the splash and the background light bulb image are much more in sync. And there we go. That was a look at compositing two images together in Photoshop. In Photoshop. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please do drop them down below. But as always, like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.